actually came into Rensselaer as a computer science major, but then I took an ethics class with a professor on campus and he had us reading a book called Half the Sky, which is a novel about women's oppression throughout the world. And uh, I had read some stories about some women in Africa and it just was really inspiring. So I decided just one day that I wanted to go and I found a program and was signed up to go the next day. And when I got there, I was working at an elementary school and there were 13 desktop computers that were donated to the school. And they were just sitting there collecting dust. There was no plans for how they were gonna use them. So being an IT major, I decided that I was gonna set them up and um, figure out how they could be used in the classroom. And uh, from there, my interest in social science really developed. I fell in love with the country when I was there. I really fell in love with it. And um, that's why I, I've always just felt so compelled to go back. We went to Ghana uh, with a research team and we were testing out the software in an elementary school and then we were also going to two other villages to interview Kente cloth weavers and Adikra stampers uh, to find out how indigenous culture and mathematics were linked. We were trying to pull out how they used computational thinking and mathematical thinking to design the different um, indigenous products that they were developing. People often ask me, like, what does social science have anything to do with information technology? And I'm finding that a lot of companies were actually really interested in having that social science aspect because a lot of people come out not really understanding how technology is going to affect society. We live 